We're here at Gardenside Park in Lexington. We started in April of 2014 with removing honeysuckle and sowing seeds along the bank here. It was mowed to the edge. There was a lot of erosion. Most of the bank was covered with honeysuckle. It was a lot of honeysuckle. You couldn't even get through down the stream here. We had really good turnout the first few work days to help remove all the honeysuckle. A lot of people who've lived here for many years were skeptical at first. When we do get feedback on work days and things, most people seem to be really, really pleased. And that really helps me keep going as a volunteer. We have a path that goes to our spring box. Now we have that new sign that will educate people and hopefully that will make people a little more welcoming. There are some negative people not understanding the purpose, but that's why we're working with the education part, writing grants for educational placards and the board over here that the Dunbar High School students did the ceramic tiles. So we're hoping through those kind of efforts that they'll see what the ultimate goal is and be patient. It used to flood up the, up the banks here and over there more, and now it, all the vegetation seems to really be slowing it down. We've seen a lot, a uh, big increase in pollinators, definitely birds. We've seen dragonflies now, turtles. We have a lot of swamp milkweed and other milkweeds planted, something that did not exist when we first started. There, there just was no vegetation. It's just amazing to hear and see the different kind of life that is here that wasn't here before. It's a beautiful piece of land now. And when you stand at our bridge and look downstream, it's just, it's just stunning compared to what it used to look like.